In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about why pH needs to be controlled. So the pH level in swimming pools needs to be kept between 7.2 to 7.6. Okay, but why? This is the question. And in, or, in order to answer that, what we need to do is think about uh, disinfection, i.e. Um, most pools use chlorine as the disinfectant. But what happens is that, I mean, it's not really chlorine that's the disinfectant. It's something that, it's a substance that you get from chlorine. Because what happens is when chlorine um, goes into the pool water, it dissociates into a couple of different substances. What you get is something called hypochlorous acid and you also get something called hypochlorite ion and what you've got to realize is that it's actually not the chlorine that kills the germs it's the hypochlorous acid that's what actually kills the um, kills the bugs is the hypochlorous acid so that's what we want that's the chlorine is the precursor to hypochlorous acid but um, you you have to use the precursor you can't get hypochlorous acid um, separately from its precursor of chlorine um, but what you want is the chlorine um, dissociating into hypochlorous acid rather than the hypochlorite ion uh, and the thing is is the ratios between you know the hypochlorous acid and the hypochlorite ion is completely dependent on the pH so for example if you had a pH more towards the 8 um, if it's rising if you if you allow the pH level to go too high what will happen is that the chlorine will end up turning into uh, or dis dissoci uh, dissociating and, and, and becoming hypochlorite ion um, that just that's what happens when the pH goes too high so if you was to bring the pH down uh, more towards the seven end then rather than chlorine turning into hypochlorite ion which doesn't do much in the way of disinfection um, it would turn into the useful uh, hypochlorous acid so that's what you want uh, you want the, the the ph to be uh, on the lower uh, side of of uh, if, you, if you're talking between seven and eight you'd want it more towards seven than towards eight because the thing is when you're testing for chlorine with your DPD uh, with your DPD one tablet to get your free chlorine level this uh, this is what you're testing this this level of chlorine here you, it doesn't tell you how much is turning into the useful hypochlorous acid there that's why you do the pH test so you do the DPD1 test to make sure you, that you've got enough chlorine and then you do what's called a uh, a phenyl a phenyl red tablet test to ensure that 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 your chlorine is turning into the useful hypochlorous acid otherwise um, you know the chlorine still it's going to be there but if the if the pH goes too high then even though the chlorine is there it's not really doing much in in terms of useful work so another way of of looking at this is is to consider this line chart here so what we've got is pH values going um, across the um, horizontal axis 
and the percentage value of hypochlorous acid on the, um, the vertical axis. So let's imagine, let's say that you did a free chlorine test um, with a DPD-1 tablet and you got uh, a reading of, let's say, two uh, parts per million or milligrams per liter if you express it as milligrams per liter it's it's the same it's the same thing okay you might be happy with that but what if the ph had gone uh too high and you end up with a ph value of eight we'll take a look at the blue line where where it intersects where if you if you if we got a ph value of eight look at where that intersects with the blue line here you've uh, you've really only got about I'd say something like 18% there um, so have you really got two parts per million chlorine well yes but only 18% of that two parts per million is actually doing anything useful which is effectively only what 0.36 parts per million is the real situation in terms of how much of that chlorine is useful so you might have two showing up on your dpd1 tablet but if you've got eight showing up on your phenyl red tablet test then the effect of that is to render most of that to useless and only 0.36 of it is going to be doing any good in terms of killing bacteria and bugs and all the rest of it so that's the main reason why it's important to keep pH controlled. You want to keep the pH between 7.2 to 7.6.